Hi, uh, I'm Alex Walford and I wanted to share um, a couple of thoughts about um, how you can collect logs um, running from Spring Boot um, using Kafka. So what I've got here, I've got a little Python script that is consuming messages from this topic and um, I've written like a minimal um, Spring Boot example. So, so here I've got something that is generating a log message every, every second and um, I have, uh, after uh, um, 10 seconds, um, I'm going to close the application so it doesn't run on forever. And uh, I'm using uh, log4j2. And, and uh, so here's an example of the, the, the Kafka appender in uh, log4j. And it, it actually lets you output the format as uh, JSON, which is quite handy. Um, one thing I want to add to this is the um, um, make sure the host name appears in in the log. I haven't done that yet. Um, so if, if I run this, let's let's run this, and, and you'll you'll see what it does. So in the background here, so you can see the Spring application firing up, and you can see the messages um, that are also being um, printed out to the console. You can see them uh, appearing in Kafka on the uh, the left there. Um, so, so why this is a good idea? So, if you have a distributed application, or maybe you have a bunch of microservices um, working on something, it's really handy to be able to sort of go to one place and see all the logs. Maybe you know you have two things interacting. It's kind of hard to sort of um, diagnose what's going on, and especially if you use like Uzi or Yarn, um, the logging within inside those, um, you know, you, you're going to be um, having to um, go to many different places to sort of get a picture of what's going on. So if you write it to Uzi, um, you know, you've got one source of truth. So I, I think I think it's a really good, uh, really good strategy. And I hope this was helpful. All right, thanks.